Hello, Rhyming Timey friends. Today, we are writing cursive letter K. Cursive letter K. I think uppercase cursive letter K is one of the easiest. Lowercase, mm, little difficult, but uppercase looks just like uppercase print K. Lowercase, if you practice lowercase H, then lowercase k will be very easy. But first, I have to say hello to my rhyming timing friends. My rhyming timing friends whose names begin with the letter k. Hello, Kathy, Caitlin, Kayla, Kristen, Kate, Caleb, and Khalil. Hello, how are you all my letter k friends? I hope I didn't forget anyone. If if I did, you have to remind me in the comments. Okay, let me show you letter K. Letter K starts up here. Starts up here with this little bit of like hair, like a little bit of hair, and then a slanted line down. You pick up your pen. Come here, just like you do print K. Come here. On the, the next, the top line, come down, make a little loop and a tail. Pretty easy. Lowercase k starts on the bottom line, slanted line up, backwards loop. You make the loop small because when you get to the middle, you've got to come down without a loop. Go back up on that same line, give it a small loop, and then a little kick, a little kick for the K. One of the words we're gonna write today, kick. So let's practice it together. Pick up your pen. Don't you love writing with pen for cursive? That's what my friend Lynn said. She loves so much about learning cursive because when she was a young girl, that's when you were allowed to use a pen. You were a grown-up. Grown-up people writing cursive. Okay, I, hold, I try to hold my pen like this so you can see. Now, letter K. A little hook on top there. Slanted line down. Pick up your pen. Come, give yourself a little space. And a curved line down, a loop in the middle, and a tail. That tail is going to connect the other words. Lowercase k. Slanted line up. A backwards loop that's kind of small because you need all this space. And then you come back on that line. Make a loop and a tail. I want to do lowercase k again with you. Now remember, when you come up here, slanted line up, small loop, because when you hit that middle, you must come down without the loop, back on the same line, and a loop and a tail. You need space. You need space without a loop to make this. Okay. Let's do that again. Slanted line up. Small backwards loop down. Back up on the same line. A loop and a tail. Let's write the name K. I have a friend named Cade, but he writes it with an uppercase C. I never saw that before, but I, I've seen it with an uppercase K, and we're going to write it with an uppercase K. Sorry, Cade. Uppercase K. Slanted line. Oh, a little head of hair. Slanted line down. Pick up your pen. You don't do that often in cursive. Then. Curve, a loop. Now watch this tail is going to be 
the top of the A, stop, go back around, slanted line up, the tail of the A becomes the top of the D, stop, back around, slanted line up, back down on the same line, and then a backwards loop for the E, K. Let's write the word kick, K-I-C-K. -K. We learned all those letters, K-I-C-K, -K. lowercase k. Slanted line up, small loop, back up on the same line. A loop, a tail. The tail becomes the eye, back down on the same line. C, you stop, go back around. And now another K, the tail of the C becomes the slanted line of the K. Down, back up on the same line. A loop and a tail. All right, you need to practice. Everything takes practice, everything you do. You didn't learn print right away. You had to practice. It was very slow at first. And cursive is the same way. And once you're writing cursive, you'll write so fast. And then you can make it a style and make it your own style. And when you can write cursive, you can read cursive. And that's important. All right, boys and girls, bye.